All right, friends. I'm making this quick video to uh, tell people about the Google Fi uh, phone service. I've been using it for several years now, and um, I've been using it successfully uh, in several countries abroad. So some places I've been with the Google Fi phone service and internet service um, was I've been to Amsterdam. That's the latest place. That's that's where I was in 2019, and in 2017, 2018, I went to Madrid, Spain, and used the service there. It worked flawlessly there. And uh, the reason why I like the service so much is that you get multiple SIM cards kind of for the price of one. So right now I have the unlimited plan. I think it might be $65, something like this. Um, and you get technically unlimited, but in reality, just like with every phone service, the caveat is it's up to I think like 40 or 50 gigs before they start throttling your internet service. So that's plenty for most. However, the selling feature for me with Google Fi is that you could get up to four free data sims. What does that mean to you? Well, um, you can have an iPad. They have LT iPads. I have the iPad Pro version one and version uh, and uh, version two. Those are the last iPads that don't have 5G. The service, of course, works with 5G. However, I'm the type of person that uh, chooses to use slightly older tech that doesn't have 5G. Maybe it's a tinfoil hat in my in my head. Um, however, I just prefer prefer it that way. So, in Amsterdam, it was really nice having that phone service that works perfectly and uh, also having my iPad there so I could watch videos, surf the internet. So you technically, if you really think about it, you don't have that extra um, fee for that data SIM card that you could get. You could get also, uh, here's a tip, order extra ones. I've had one SIM card stop working and I disconnected and connected a fresh one and started working again. So, yeah, that's really cool. Technically, you could have your cell phone, which is one, and then uh, four data SIM cards all together. I mean, that's kind of like five lines if you think about it. Yes, you don't have a telephone line on each one of them. You technically need only one telephone line. However, if you have something like an iPad, you have, um, you know, FaceTime working. So if you want to face, uh, FaceTime somebody, if you want to telegram somebody, if you want to signal somebody, uh, you have the ability to do that. I mean, think about the possibilities of the data SIM card. I even have a laptop, the T14. It's kind of like a Lenovo business laptop and it has a uh, 4G LTE um, data modem. So you could put the SIM card in there too and have wireless internet on the go. I see the additional benefit of that is that, you know, sometimes like we'll go to Starbucks, like, hey, can I use your Wi-Fi please? And you don't have to be that person. You could be like, I have plenty of LTE. I have plenty of internet service that's running quickly and nicely and uh, I don't even need to use the um, you know the Wi-Fi that's you know public you know you have to be careful sometimes in the public ones um, you got to use a VPN so I recommend private internet access if you're using one of those if you're using a, um, a Wi-Fi connection in something like um, in like a Starbucks or a cafe shop or something like that. Because it's not as secure as through a VPN. A VPN um, does 
encryption of your data back and forth between you and that and you and you and the website that you're going to so long story short um in my backpack right now in my pocket i have an iphone 11 pro that's also the last uh, 4g iphone uh that they made maybe they have a later one however that's probably the latest and bestest um apple 4g phone that they made it's from 2020 still really recent uh, technology and uh, it gets the updates um, yeah I've been using it for years and that's the reason why I also made this video it's like other people might want to know about it uh, not a lot of people talk about it too um, what's cool about the Google Fi service too is that to the best of my understanding is that they don't have a single tower of their own so when you're using their service, you're actually only connecting to the strongest tower closest to you. So whatever service, so it's kind of like service agnostic. So technically, you might get better service than you would be if you had just like a singular service provider, like let's say a T-Mobile, AT&T, those guys. Because it really doesn't care, it's just going to connect to the strongest tower closest to you to get the best reception um, well, the SIM card also works in Russia the place where it doesn't work was in the Turkey airport um, it didn't work however it works in Russia uh, when you're traveling abroad you might actually think oh hey I could probably just use this uh, Google Fi data uh, forever abroad but that's not true. I think after a month or two, they send you an email saying like, hey, uh, we noticed you've been abroad for way too long, over 30 days, over 60 days or something like that. In the next 30 days, we're going to shut down your roaming abilities uh, to be able to use that um, SIM card abroad. So probably a month or two is completely fine. However, most people don't travel longer than that. And that's what I find having um, a prepaid service, which doesn't ask you for your social. Um, and uh, has unlimited internet and kind of works everywhere. And like the way that I see it, like this kind of service is really good. Let's say if you went on a cruise, you um, every time you pull up to port, maybe get your internet data in um, your kids could, you could plug in the data SIM card into a regular cell phone and just get internet on it. You just won't get, um, you just won't get a telephone number. You just won't have a telephone number to call. However, if you use something like maybe Google Voice, you technically could have a telephone number over the internet. But that's up to you. I mean, Google Voice is free. So what else can I tell you? So for the pro one price, uh, the base price is like 25 bucks a month, and then you pay like $10 a gigabyte. So if you just want to maintain it, uh, it's 25 bucks, and then you would pay $10 a gigabyte. That's kind of useful because you could still use the roaming abroad. Uh, however, also they have a th it's $10 a gigabyte, but the asterisk is you'll never pay more than like 90 bucks. So let's say you spend six gigabytes, then the next 10 gigabytes are free and they won't charge you like 150 bucks because you went over your data because it's kind of like said like that. Otherwise, it's like 65 bucks, you know, with tax, I don't know, 75, 80. And then you have the, the phone service. I'm going to link you below. I'm going to also link you to the... Um, phone that I use, the iPhone 11 Pro, and I'll also link you to um, the iPad Pro that I used, the Generation 1 and Generation 2, in case you want to check those out, you know, Amazon affiliate links, of course. Um, yeah, I think uh, Google Fi is the best service, but caveat, I do use more than Google Fi, I have several lines. I also use the Boost Mobile. The benefit of Boost Mobile is it's 
35 bucks flat and you get like five or 10 giga gigabytes of internet. However, the issue with that phone, with the prepaid, you might notice with other prepaid phones, is that it doesn't let you kind of like call international numbers um, and it doesn't work internationally. So once you leave the US borders, you're kind of you know, straight out of uh, luck in those situations and you don't get the extra data sims. Oh, and the way the data sims work is it counts towards the data total for your account. So let's say you're, uh, let's say you use the gigabyte on your cell phone, you use the gigabyte on your iPad, you use two gigs in total. So it just goes through that. So when you have unlimited uh, cellular internet, it's kind of amazing because technically you could watch all the YouTube videos you want. Oh, and the additional, I think, benefit with the Google Fi service is that I think they might give you a year of YouTube Red. Don't hold me to that. But you might be able to watch your YouTube ad free if you have the account, the unlimited account. And I think something like also with the Google data backup, you might get like 100 gigabytes or like a terabyte of the Google Drive included with the service. So you kind of get Googled out. Yeah, I know Google is a big corporation. However, I think um, using the Google Fi service is actually uh, utilizing Google's reach to be able to strike deals with these uh, you know, international, international cellular companies to be able to use your uh, phone in 150 countries. So whether you're traveling to like South America, whether you travel to Europe like me or um, Russia, not Turkey though, Turkey might be an issue. Um, but like most countries, you could just use their cellular network, keep your US number, um, phone calls are great. One of the um, marketing gimmicks I think that they did originally when I got Google Fi service was I wound up buying their Google Pixel. Uh, the, I think the first one maybe, the first one, second one, Google Pixel 1, 2. Anyways, I don't like the Google Pixel. I did like that it had a camera button, that was kind of cool. Um, you don't need to use their Google Pixel iPhones work fine. Uh, let's see. I, like a month or two ago, my uh, SIM actually the, for the phone stopped working. So I went in the text support. The, um, the support, I don't think you call people. There's um, kind of like a chat screen and you could talk to them. So I went through the support and instead of waiting for a replacement SIM card. I wound up uh, doing what's called an eSIM. So it's like a SIM card without a SIM card. Like the newer, more modern phones, they do have that. The iPhone 11 Pro does have that. So that made my internet work. So as I mentioned before, um, you, got, you can order as many of those data SIM card as you want. They, they're gonna like, you could send dozens to, you, to yourself. However, you can only activate four. Um, comes with a little card. The card has a secret code. Google Fi slash activate. And then you just log in with the account and, and do that. So I like they do have a program for recommending it to other people. So you yourself could get the service and kind of um, uh, share your link or share your code so that any friends that you refer the service to, I mean, they get 60 bucks and you get 60 bucks after I think a certain period. You of, course, you of course you have to read the terms and conditions. So that's one of the reasons I'm making the video. Also, I just wanted to give kind of like a long-term review as I'm one of these people that um, likes to give reviews of products that he's used for a long time oftentimes and that um, work great for them. I just think that's really cool. Having a prepaid service that works internationally, no credit check, no, no social security number, no, not even a, probably a name needed. I mean, could order the SIM card to anywhere. 
Um, great service, works internationally, unlimited. So I can only say good things about it. Just think about a place like, uh, like Switzerland. Switzerland has ridiculous rates for their uh, phone and internet services. So having uh, the ability to communicate across like the world and like for being able to order an Uber, I think that's amazing. Um, so then uh, I guess we'll look at the app next and I'll share the, the code with you. The, it's gonna be linked below. Everything that I talk about is gonna be linked below. You might also wanna check out my other videos and if you like the video so far, uh, subscribe. Um, thumb it up and uh, yeah I mean I hope you're enjoying the video and I hope you're finding this information useful the tips and the tricks that I came up with and uh, I'll see you in the next part um, showing you the devices that I use with it um, so here's the terms and conditions to qualify the, for the $60 credit uh, your referral you need to use the invitation uh, code and activate full service plan. Data only sims and new group plan members do not qualify. They must activate device compatible with Fi, okay, um, within 30 days of checkout. After activation, your referral needs to keep their Fi service active for 30 consecutive days and pay their first bill in full. When you meet the requirements above, <coughs> the credit will be applied to your bill. Um, effective 715 for users can earn up to 605 bill credit for referrals. Um, so up to 600. So you could refer 10 friends at a time. That's pretty cool. Um, so most of your service could be could be completely free. I took some screenshots of my back end. I didn't want to share my um, phone number with people on the internet. So I just took the screenshots of the relevant parts. So here's the features you get with the Unlimited Plus that, that I'm using. Um, got the hotspot tethering, which is cool. You could read all about it. Up to 10 devices at a time. So you could use, I guess, use the internet service on this iPad with like up to 10 devices, share with friends. Um, I like this international coverage in the 200 countries as I mentioned so that's a feature they advertise uh, one year of YouTube premium free so that's like I don't know a 13 or a 15 dollar plan which is kind of cool I mean it's free included so which is cool um, here's the check boxes you could use to service outside the US interna international coverage and things like this um, Here's my referral code you could use. Um, like, copy it over. I'll have it linked below in your um, in the video description, or you could just type it into your thing right now. And if you wanted to uh, type it, type the website to redeem it. That's the website you would type it in. Um, and that's pretty much it regarding that. So I wanted to quickly show you guys, um, I just put two separate YouTube videos playing, it plays play smoothly, um, see, goes right through, over here, skips right through, so everything works smoothly, um, I'm only on cellular internet, there's no secret hidden Wi-Fi anywhere. Um, it just works. I love the service. Um, you could use it across devices. So this one had, you know, at least had the SIM. Now it's using the eSIM. Uh, works perfectly. The iPhone 11 Pro. What I like about the iPhone 11 Pro is that it still has the great camera of the iPhone 11. It has uh, 60 frames a second uh, camera capability. Um, and also I find it sleeker because it has the rounded edges instead of the squared off edges. That's one of the things that I found with um, 5G phones is that those things actually use um, um, use up more space inside the case and they need more power to transmit a 5G signal as opposed to a 4G signal. So 
that's what I found personally is that uh, having the 4G, I think uh, it might be more healthful. My videos are playing at full speed. I mean, uh, if I want to, I could probably switch from 720p to 4K. Is it going to work? Let's see. Uh, yeah, even 4K is working. But it's probably using four times the bandwidth. Um, I just wanted to show you that that works. Um, it's kind of cool being able to receive your messages, see the videos playing, everything runs quick. And it's all from one plan, um, the Unlimited 5 plan. So if you enjoyed the video, uh, thumb up the video. If you're looking for the service, use my link or don't, eh, it's up to you. Um, Amazon links below to um, this iPad. This is a 9.8 inch. Um, the Gen 1 and Gen 2. Gen 2 might be better, uh, iPad Pro, because the screen is nice. And uh, Gen 1 and Gen 2 still have only uh, 4G LTE. So both are 4G LTE, so I'm not um, you know, attracting any 5G millimeter waves against me. Um, I have a whole video regarding that wireless technology too. It's probably two hours long. Uh, describing all the reasons that I had, the research that I can show, not just some random tinfoil hat on the internet. Uh, there's actually been books written about this. Like for example, did you know that um, according to EMF by Dr. Mercola, um, that none of these cellular companies um, are actually allowed to be insured. No, no insurance company would insure these cell phone companies against the liability of the um, you know, cellular connection stuff that people use every day you know so that's kind of nice I'm sitting here in a park imagine yourself sitting in a park having a coffee or using this to tether your laptop to it or having a laptop with a um, data sim or having a couple different iPads or let's say you use the phone service on the thing and you have three more four more sim cards you could have your your whole entire family internationally especially if you're traveling use a service like Telegram between each other so you could communi communicate and all you guys can find your way home uh, you know go on Google Maps and all that good stuff that um, you might enjoy so yeah I hope you found this video use useful um, check out my other reviews I review pretty much everything I like my tech and I even have a video about how I lost uh, 57 pounds in 102 days if that's what you're looking into, I mean, I'm always looking to improve my life and I hope uh, I can be an inspiration to others and inspire also myself to do better and better and better. All right, friends, I'll see you in the next one and God bless. Bye.